Okay, so if you've seen any of my train layout videos, you've probably seen these style of buffers, uh, which are from an official set. I'm not even, I don't remember which, it's from one of the freight train sets, but I don't even remember which one. It might have been the 60052. Uh, but they're just maybe a little bit uninspired. Um, <laughs> they were very simple to make. I think I made six or seven of them, something like that. But after seeing a design pop up on Reddit, I decided to give it a try. So this is this is a design by Bo Former. Uh, I guess I don't know how to <laughs> pronounce it, but um, it is actually based on another design by Reglin on Rebrickable. Um, but I just thought it was fairly simple. It looks pretty good already, and you could kind of uh, make it look a bit better if you want. This is maybe a bit bare bones, but that's fine. I'd rather it be this way, and then we can make changes later. Uh, and then, of course, you have the shock absorber here to try to absorb some of the impact of a train. So in this case, this is just a rolling um, locomotive. It doesn't ha actually have motors on there, but just, just brought something down here to kind of so you can kind of see it in action. So you can see it, it absorbs a good bit of the force. And I just thought it was kind of cool. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to end up building, I'm not even sure how many. I've set aside a bunch of parts here. I actually have tons of different shock absorbers to try to test how the different versions fare to see if any is better than the other. So you have this guy with much tighter springs. Um, you've got the red version so th this is a harder spring i can't even remember which ones are which sometimes but uh these yellow and red might be about the same uh, and then of course you have kind of the standard uh gray shock absorber so actually all of these are light blue gray i've pulled out all the ones that were light gray um, so i've got some parts set aside here that i did have in my collection and then uh, we have a box of parts that came in today uh, with the rest of them so uh, we're going to start here. I actually have two more packages. They haven't arrived yet, but it's just kind of miscellaneous train parts. Um, so they'll be in this haul video as well. And after we get through with all of that, then we'll get to kind of testing the buffers and see how they perform with uh, with different trains, different links, uh, different speeds, all that kind of stuff. So this is from a latte bricks. <laughs> um, so I got some kind of blue and yellow parts. These are for other builds I'm working on. I'm not even sure. Those might even come up before this. I don't, I'm not sure how the next year is going to go. Um, okay, so this is a part that is for uh, 4.5 volt trains. Um, I'm not even sure how it works exactly. Yeah, you've got, um, they actually gave me a discount because of how yellowed it was. Um, I told them it was fine. I just wanted the functional piece i really wasn't worried about it you know looking good i don't expect parts these old to look good <laughs> uh, i think they gave me a 20 percent discount they said you can either be refunded or we'll give you a discount so they did that and then this was also a 4.5 volt piece so that will come in handy um let's see so these are for the MERS containers the white refrigerant containers more blue bricks uh some blue jumper plates and needed control panels for locomotives and Oh, these are the one by two panel pieces. Um, so we've just got all the various parts here. So these are for the buffers. These are the, the round uh, kind of dome shaped tiles. Um, some tiles here, tiles. <laughs> uh, these are for the merch containers. Uh, those are for the buffers as well. Um, some brackets. Yeah, so just kind of random parts uh, I ordered and needed for other projects. And this one. And restocking. Like one by four black plates. I guess I had a good price on them because I've, I've been running out. So I'm trying to stock up on stuff like that. You can never have enough black plates. Uh, so we got some two by fours. Uh, these pieces, I definitely needed a bunch of these for the... Uh, for the buffers uh these are for the buffers too i probably had these but i needed so many i was like well i'm not going to try to fish them out of my collection i thought this piece would be more expensive they were only a couple cent each i, I believe that wasn't very expensive at all uh, as well as a one by one technic brick in dark bluish gray these weren't too bad either i'm i'm thinking i from what i remember when i was doing a lot of gbc the dark bluish gray 
seems to be a pretty common color and I think it's often very cheap compared to some other ones. Maybe a toss up between black and maybe light bluish gray for certain parts. So I'm gonna take this upstairs and build some buffers. Okay, well I've got a kind of test set up here. I've got the old style buffer that I was using and I've got four of the new version with various different shock absorbers. I don't know if it's really gonna make any difference at all. Um, that's the others that I've built. So I've got a total of eight at the moment. I could probably build more. Um, I did a few tests running full speed <laughs> down the track and every time it just disconnects the tracks from each other. <laughs> um, it's quite a bit of force. You've got four motors, <laughs> two battery boxes, uh, in a somewhat heavy for a six wide locomotive already. So um, I'm gonna maybe just go closer and just kind of go in and try to, I just wanna see which shock absorber I wanna use for these. Um, the rest of this layout here, I'm just kind of, I was testing some different switch tracks. So the double crossovers and the triple switches are both from AliExpress. Um, it's not really something I'm gonna cover on the channel directly because you just never know what you're going to get from aliexpress whether you order today or next week or from different sellers or whatever uh, i'm not going to try to answer people's questions about <laughs> all that kind of stuff i recommend uh tricks bricks if you want uh, a good customer experience so um i'm already set up on this track so let me i'll back up a little bit we'll get a little bit of speed um and just kind of go in with the red um it definitely seems to absorb some of the impact that's that's kind of cool it's just fun it's satisfying uh to use and it's definitely i think going to do better than the older style uh, for absorbing some of the impact and just having the the tracks not disconnect and things like that it should at least help with that so let's see if we can get back over to the far track over there. Okay, something like that. Okay, I'm just gonna go along. This should be one, two. So whether it's really going to help or not with it disconnecting, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe let's just try it with a single locomotive. So let's shut this one down. Okay. I can kind of quickly change tracks here. So we want a same starting point. So we'll probably go right along this line here. Okay, it's the gray one. Red. Let's say that was yellow. I don't think it's really gonna matter. That seems to be fairly easy. That one's tougher. Feels like these are maybe a, eh. And that's super easy. So I'll probably end up going with either the red or the yellow. Uh, the two gray ones are just way too easy. Um, that's red. Yellow is definitely the hardest, so this is kind of between. Uh, maybe I'll just kind of see, um, you know, look through my collection here, see what I've got. I've got, only got four of the reds, so I'll kind of go through and see. Um, so, I think at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter which uh, shock absorber you use. The main problem is you're going to have if you are 
approaching them at speed is the uh, track separating. You know, maybe we can do some testing with that. Okay, well, we're back. And now I've got <laughs> these 2 by 4 uh, white tiles. I got a bunch of pick and break a while back. So I've kind of strengthened up all of the tracks here. Uh, so we can actually test the buffers kind of on their own. Um, I don't know how this is going to go. I'm just trying to make something interesting for video. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, the switches are set right. I guess we might as well go for the full thing here. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, so that's that style buffer. Again, that's from an official set. Um, so this piece actually did stay. I uh, just kind of rocketed everything, all that off there. Um, let's see. Uh, since I'm just moving the locomotive, let me set all of these to straight. Uh, and actually. These double crossovers are just like the official Lego ones. So if, if one is curved, the other straight and vice versa. So I can't actually set those to full straight on both sides. Uh, so we'll just have to kind of work with it. Hopefully I got this set up right. That's close enough. That's pretty impressive. Um, so if your tracks are held together, uh, it actually absorbed the impact and I don't see any pieces separating or anything like that. So that's that's pretty sweet. Um, let's get it on here. So this is the red shock absorber. I should have put these in order. Um, I did not do that. So this is probably the softest uh, than this one. Well, it's, these two are kind of a toss-up. The, the grays, even though they have totally different springs on them. I think this is the hardest, and that's kind of a medium. So let's test that one. All right, let's go. That's pretty awesome. Um, okay, let's try the yellow. Uh, whoops, I actually need to change the switch. Okay. Let's give this one a go. I think I'll, I'll probably kind of go with the yellow more than anything. I like that the yellow matches. That's that's kind of cool. Uh, but the harder spring, I think, is... is Probably better because I'm gonna have pretty fairly heavy trains usually. I don't know. And just since we tried all the others, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Okay, back on the rails. I mean, I guess if you're just moving like single locomotives around, fairly low speed, and you want it to absorb to look cool on camera, <laughs> um, I guess you could use these softer springs. Because that does look... Pretty cool. It's satisfying uh, to, to run into these. Whereas with those buffers, I was always trying not to slam into them. So either way, I think it's a cool design. I, en I enjoy using them. Um, if I have any insights beyond all this, I'll uh, update later. But I've, I've got to get this track torn apart. i got to set up a table for another video. And then I've got to take the lights downstairs and film some other stuff. It's always just a chicken and egg problem here. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get things filmed uh, and then you've got cats just walking right through your shot because they are totally indifferent uh, to what you're doing 
Um, I don't know, maybe this is good for YouTube. I don't know. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to get on the discussion about you know this kind of stuff or anything, um, our Discord's a good place for that. Um, you can post your own you know pictures, videos, get advice, or show off techniques you're using, all that kind of stuff. If you want to help support the channel, we uh, usually have uh, more informative or better videos than this. But <laughs> uh, you can uh, join the channel memberships, get access to videos early, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we really appreciate the channel members. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.